Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at the Bayes theorem in probability. The Bayes theorem in probability. Viewers, I have a video on introduction to probability. I also have a video on what is conditional probability. Those of you who have not watched those videos, you are advised to go and watch them. Okay, before watching this. Now, those who have watched the video on what is conditional probability, we said that the conditional probability of an event A given an event B, which is denoted as this, is given by probability of A and B over probability of B. I think. Viewers, from here, if you decide to make probability of A and B the subject, this one the subject, then I'm going to have probability of B times probability of A given B. Yes, this is true. Now, viewers, look on the board. Again, when you have probability of B given A, that is the conditional probability of B given A, this is equal to probability of B and A, that is probability of B dash A, over probability of A. Yes, those of you who have watched the video, this should not be a problem at all. Now, here, similarly, from here, you can say that probability of A and probability of B given A is equal to probability of B and A. Yes, if you make probability of B and A the subject, you are going to get this. Now, viewers, look on the board. Look on the board. Probability of A and B, this one, is the same as probability of B and A. Isn't it? Yes. Because A that is in B is the same as B that is in A. So if this is the same as this, then between that, we can write equal to here. Yes. We can write equal to here. And say that this one is equal to this. And this is equal to this. So we can say that this is equal to this. Isn't it? Now, if this is equal to this, then you can write this. You can write probability of A given B, this one, times probability of B. Probability of B is equal to, let me write the B word, is equal to probability of B given A times probability of A. This is true. Now, viewers, at this point, if you decide to make probability of A giving B the subject, you are going to have probability of A giving B is equal to is equal to probability of B giving A times probability of A all over probability of B. Hmm? For probability of B greater than zero. Yes, this one should be greater than zero. Okay, now that is you have just you have made probability of A giving B the subject. So you have divided both sides by probability of B. Now viewers, this is the base theorem. Base theorem. Yes, this is the base theorem. This one. Now, similarly from here, from here, from here, if you decide to make probability of B giving A the subject, then you already have this. Probability of B giving A. This is equal to probability of A giving B times probability of B over probability of A. And for probability of A greater than zero. Yes, so this is the base theorem and the same as this. So from here, even from here, if you make probability of B giving A the subject, you are going to get this, the same thing. So viewers, this is the base theorem in probability. It's not difficult at all. And this is how to derive it. 
Yes, this is how to Now let's look at a question and bring this lecture to an end. You can say that two question. I say that if probability of A given B is equal to 0 0.7, probability of A is equal to 0 0.5, and uh, probability of B is equal to 0 0.2, comma, you can still find uh, probability of B given A. Yes, I have to show something like this. Solution. Now, do us the beginning probability of A given B. Probability of A and the probability of B. And you have, you have to find this. So, straight away, you can use this formula. You use it. Just have to know one. If you know one, you have to find probability of B given A, use this one. If you have to find probability of A given B, then use, you make probability of A given B the subject. Yes. Okay. So you are going to use this one. Probability of B giving A is equal to probability of A giving B times probability of B over probability of A. Right, isn't it? And straight away is equal to 0 0.7 times uh, probability of B is 0 0.2 over 0.5 and this one will give us 0.14 over 0.5 0 0.14 over 0.5 will give us 0.28 yes so this will be the probability of B given A I see so B West is not difficult at all thank you very much for your attention for more of this video subscribe to my YouTube channel Shamala Junior